Hi guys, Karen Bisweta, how are you? So today I'm excited to bring you a mat-based workout. We're gonna focus on the abs, the butt, and the arms. So you'll need a mat, you'll need a mini ball, and a light set of dumbbells. If you don't have any of those guys, you're still gonna do the workout because we can just modify and make adjustments where we need. So let's go ahead and lie down. We're gonna start right away with the ball, right above the knees to the inner thighs. Just placing your hips in a nice neutral position, and the palms are down. Inhaling here, and slowly as you exhale, I want you to draw the navel to spine, finding that little imprint, lifting up to your curl, and give that ball a little squeeze, and then we're gonna slowly melt that right back down. Can we try that again? Inhaling through the nose. Exhale, rising up the belly, lifting, lifting, giving the ball a little squeeze, and then coming down. Let's change this up. We have an inhale one. Exhale, rising up to that curl, gaze into the belly, looking toward the navel, and then I want you to bring the arms down, but as you come down, we're not letting the ribs lift up. Inhale, the arms slowly come up. Give that ball a little squeeze. And then we come down. Let's go four more here. So a little ab rep, guys. Lifting and flexing through the spine. Good, let's go three more to the finish. Rise the arms up. Little curl, little curl. We have three. And right back down. Show me two more to the finish. Coming up with the arms. Lifting, squeezing the ball. And one more. I'm gonna give a little change here. So I want you to rise up to the curl. Look at the belly, we're gonna hold. Now take your right arm and let it come overhead. You're gonna slide the left arm across the mat as we come up and cross the right arm over the left knee. Look to where you're going and then back overhead. Let's go two more like this, little oblique. Squeeze the ball, rising up, get that shoulder blade off and slowly down but not letting the ribs pop. Last one, slowly bring the arm. Exhale, lifting with the curl, gazing over that knee and then we lower, the little switch, opposite arm comes over, shoulder back. Take that arm on the inhale, exhale, sliding that long arm across that floor, and then we come back down. Can we go two more here, guys? Inhale, left, exhale, that shoulder blade comes off. You look to where you're going, feel those obliques kick in, and one more. All right, the ball's nice here because it also helps stabilize the pelvis, right? It helps you not rock from behind. And then we're gonna bring the knees up to tabletop with a little squeeze on that ball with your arms overhead shoulders neutral inhale as you exhale you're going to come up draw the belly in and pulse into the ball one two and then lower that down let's try that again exhale rise up looking toward the navel and pulse inner thighs inner thighs and lower back down again inhale arms exhale lifting up squeeze squeeze and return final one i'm adding and changing lift up lift up ready here and you're going to pulse Pulse, hold behind the head. Elbows are wide here, you're gonna lower back down. The knees stay at the hip height. Lifting up, lifting up. You're gonna twist to the right, it's just from the rib cage, and then come back to center. Twist to the left, come back to center, and bring that down. We go again, inhale. Exhale, rising the shoulder blades. Twist to the right, the ball is squeezing a little bit, so you don't move the hips or the pelvis. And one more this direction. I'm feeling the obliques already. Lift, twist to the right. You guys feeling that? Twist to the left. Center, now we're gonna lead with the left, so come with me here, inhale. Exhale, rise to the curl, and twist. Now, if this feels too much, you can always bring those feet back to the floor, right? You guys know that. And two more here, rising up to the curl. Flexion, flexion, little twist, and center. Little twist, and center, and lower, final one, inhale. Exhale, rise up to the curl. We twist, and center, and twist, that we do, and center, and lower, take those feet back down, pressing the energy through the back of those arms, we inhale. Draw the belly on the exhale, squeeze the butt, and I want you to lift up, feel the booty here, and come down. All right, you may have to pull the heels in a little closer to you. You don't want them too far, because then that back may arch, right, too much. So lifting, again, hip bones even. Think of that belt, like zipping around the waist. Four more here, little hug. Four, and hover, and three, and two more here, and two, and last one here. Can we hold this one up? I have to walk my feet a little. You're gonna rise your heels up and drop down. Heels lift, seven, squeeze the glutes, and six. Belly's driving in with that, exhale, five, four more, four, three, two, hold up on one, pulse into the ball, eight, seven, six, five, inner thighs, four, how are we doing guys, three, Two, you got one more set. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your heels lower down. Hold behind your thighs. Let's roll up to seated. All right, you're gonna take the ball to the small of the back and we're gonna hold the load in our hand. 
Scoop to that little C curve. Chin is off the chest here, no tension, right? You wanna think of the arms out, finding neutral with the shoulders, inhaling. On your exhale, little curl up away from the ball and down. The back stays on the ball the whole time though, right? Little flexion of the spine and bicep curls engage. Four more. Lengthen. Three. Two more here. Two. Last one. We're moving right on. Come back into the ball. High and one. Row. Pull your shoulder blades together. Squeezing as you rise, making sure that head's not pulling forward. Four more here. We have four and three. How are we doing? Two. Last one, guys. And one. Now scoop into the ball. You're going to stay here and you're going to do a little shoulder press. And come down. Little shoulder press. And come down. Not letting that back arch. I'm holding that C curve. Four more. And three. Two more to finish. Two. Last one. And rise up. Excellent job. All right, you're going to bring the weights with you. Take the ball to the side. I want you to bend your right knee in. And then the weight is going to come to the right hand. So right knee is bent, left leg is long. Pull the elbow to the side of that rib cage. We're going to kick back that tricep, right? So keep the elbow close to the body. Feel the back of your arm. And now we're going to add that left leg. As you kick the arm, squeeze the glute. Finally, in the butt, eight. Core is in, seven, six, five. You got four more here. Four, three, two, and one. Little switch. Opposite left knee bends in, right leg is long. Drive the elbow back, gazing down. Start with the kickback, right? So keeping the arm isolated with a strong core. And then let's add a little leg. Lift and lower. Fire that glute and in. Eight, good. Seven, six to the finish. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Meet me on your knees. You're gonna take the ball right to the inner thigh. So I like the ball here. It helps keep your hips nice and even and your adductors engage a little bit more. So option one, you can do this with no load, right? Definitely light load, guys. I got three. You can do two or threes. You're drawing the belly in into your spine twist. Remember, for spine twists, you're not moving from the arms. It's all coming from the waist. Two, three, and come back, come back, come back. So the arms are nice and stable. Working isometrically, the movement is happening from the core. From that waist. And two, grow taller. Three, but I'm feeling those shoulders. And three, taller, taller. Two, and come back to center all the way. Going right into a lateral raise. We're gonna lift the arms up. Now, when you do that, give that ball a little hug. So you can get lift in up on the pelvic floor. Strong core. Eight more. Seven. How are we doing, guys? Looking good. We're getting everything. Arms, abs, and butt. Perfect blend right on the mat. Four more. We ready? Three. You know, I'm gonna change this a little bit. Two and one. Front race. Stabilize. You got eight. Eight. Now try not to lean back. That's hard. Seven. If you're really swinging back, lighten the load or use no dumbbells, right? If you're stabilizing and you just feel swinging. Three more here. Three, two, and one. Now you're going to take one dumbbell into your left hand and your right leg comes out. So you're facing hip bone square. This is bow and arrow. You're going to bring the arms. Hug. Square the hips. Here's your bow. You're going to pull open from the rib cage and open the arm. Yes? So you sweep the arm slightly, light load or no load, coming to that long arm, reaching long, row the arm, open the chest, and hug it again. Rotation of the rib cage. Come back, bow and arrow. Open it up and return. Good. Almost done, guys. Row. Look to where you're going. Open and return last one here and we'll switch arms how the shoulder is feeling come back and switch your opposite leg comes out i want you to lengthen that same arm nice and long looking straight ahead right so your hip bone is square knee and hip in alignment slight bend to the elbow hug that arm in look to where you're going 
Grow the arm, reach down low, open the chest up straight ahead. So your neck always follows the line that the spine is moving. Grow the arm and open that chest. Sweep it, sweep it. Roll it in. Squeeze the back and open. You got four more. Hug it in. And open. Three more here. Little hug. Little roll. And open. Two more here, guys. Roll it in. Little roll. Little open. Show me one more. Little hug. How do we do? Little roll. And open. Way to work. Good, meet me on your side. We're gonna come into a side plank, holding that one dumbbell to your top arm. Making a little fist, shoulder, elbow in alignment, make that fist and lift up the lower rib cage. You're gonna start with that top arm right to the pocket and we're gonna lift that up and down. Now, if you need a little more, I want you to come to that full plank. We have eight here and seven. Six to the finish. Six, good, good, good. Five, four more. Four, three, Two and one. Hold for eight. Seven. Six. Look straight ahead. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring that down. Lower the hips. Bend your knees into a clamshell. Heels together. Open that top leg. Close it. Think butt, butt, butt. Open and close. So your head can be down for this, right? Just so your cervical spine, your neck is in nice alignment. Firing through the glute. Four. That core is strong. Three, we ready guys? Two, now continue the same move, but a bigger range of motion. Eight, hug it down. And seven, bring it in. Six more, six. You got five more here, five. Four to the finish, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out. Let's switch to the other side. We're starting with that plank, don't forget. So make that forearm fist, squeeze under the armpit so the neck is long. Option one, you're gonna start just on the knees. Grab that load, you can come to full plank. Make sure you maintain that long line. We have eight. Are you lifting on that low rib cage? Seven. Make sure this isn't happening, right? Six. You have it, guys. Five. Four more. Notice when that weight comes up, how you gotta work a little bit harder to stabilize, right? Three. Two, can we hold up on one? We're holding and balancing for eight, seven, stabilizing, five, four, three, that core is on fire, and lower. Come down through your clamshell position. Come in heels together, toes apart. Draw the belly, squeeze the glute and lift, and down. Seven, six to your finish, six. We got five more here, five, bring it in and four, three more here, and three. Come down, two more, and two. Ready for your change, last one. Bigger range of motion, we open up, eight, and lower, open up, and seven. Good, six, five more, five. So we're externally rotating that leg, four, but stabilizing through your center, three, you have it guys, two, and one. Ready for your last exercise on all fours? You're gonna start with your palms under, think of a plank, right? Well, tabletop first. You're gonna tuck your toes, draw the belly, neck is long. Option one is a knee hover. Option two is walk in a plank. Out, out, in, in, yeah? Out, out, in, in. We got eight more. Out, out, try to lead with the opposite leg each time. Out, out, in, in, six more. Out, out, in, in, five more, and out, out, and in, in, and four. Pull it in, and three. Pull it in, two more, two, and in, and one, and in, and hold for eight, seven, knees are off, six, five, neck is long, three, two, and rest. Guys, we are done. Thank you so much for joining me for that quick but efficient arm, abs, and lower body workout, guys. With a ball and weights, you can't go wrong. You guys are amazing. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know how you felt afterward. Put your comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you felt the most, the arms, the abs, or lower body. All right guys, have a great day. Be sure to subscribe to Workout Hotel so you get my workouts 
every Saturday by 7 a.m. You guys are amazing. I will see you next week for another workout. Bye.